Hey y'all, so it's your girl April. So today's wig is going to be by a company called Ion. I do hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. If not, then you guys already know ahead of time. So I'm just gonna call this wig series Battle of the Blondes because I do have a few blonde wigs that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys and I want you guys' opinion on them. So this is a 22 inch 360 lace front and it has 150% density. The color is a 1B27 and prior to this video, I did pre-tweeze it or pre-pluck the hairline and I also did bleach it. And I did go ahead and use my Mark Daniels purple shampoo just to tone it. Now, the color yellow or color blonde that it came in was not bad at all, but I really wanted to see how this blonde was going to work out with the, um, the purple shampoo. And it actually came out a little bit lighter. I actually do like this color that it came out in. It came out really nice. So I am like, you know, feeling this bump. Now, for one, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away at the front portion of the lace. I did cut the back part off, off camera because I didn't want to cut my neck. And I would suggest getting like a small pair of curved scissors because those always make the best cutting scissors when it applies to your wig. Also, I do want to let you guys know that I will be just using my regular method of applying my wigs, which is without glue or tape or gel. It's just with my favorite mousse or styling mousse and one of my favorite hairsprays, which is the Pump It Up Gold in the Super Hold formula. Now, the wig density is nice, especially for it to be 150. Normally, when you get 150 from a lot of different companies, it seems more like 100. Okay? But this one is nice and full, and it does just flow nicely, especially after you fix it up. It is a Brazilian body wave texture, and the price is definitely affordable. For 22 inches, 150% density, it was $218. But also, there is a coupon code that you can use, and I think it's for $8 off, which is April, and I'll put that in the description box as well. Now, as you guys see right here, I'm just taking my styling mousse and I am just rubbing that into the hairline. Along with that, I'm rubbing it into the baby hairs and also the hairs. This will allow me to sculpt the baby hairs with my favorite toothbrush, which I call my sculpting brush. You know, this toothbrush has made its appearances in many videos. Now, for one, I did cut the baby hairs kind of long. I should have cut them shorter, but I really didn't feel like going back into that. So I just left them as is and just style them as you know normal. I did just use my pump it up hairspray on the hairs of the baby hairs along with that the hairline of the lace so that way it will adhere to my scalp or my hairline or whatever you want to call it. I don't like to use the gel or the glue because it's just so messy it leaves like a gooey residue in your scalp your hair and also on your lace which is hell to get out of when it's time to clean. With the method that I use it doesn't leave any type of residue. You may see a little bit of flakiness on the inside portion of the lace, but all you really need to do is just take a brush, like a toothbrush, a soft toothbrush, or a nice soft face brush, and you just brush it away and it's good to go. Normally when you do like the glue or the gel, you'll definitely have to wash it like more than often, so I definitely would suggest trying out this method. It makes life easier. I can wear my wigs for like two to three days and more if I choose to. Now, I did have a little bit of difficulty with the baby hairs, and only because they were super long, but you know, I worked it out, your girl did work it out. The wig does come with its normal adjustable straps and the combs, and of course you guys, I did put a, an elastic band in this unit. Now for one, when I did um, wash the hair, I, I did notice that the ends were just a little bit dry of the wig. So, you know, you can always fix that up with a good conditioner, deep conditioner, or you can just trim the ends off. Either way, it's 22 inches, so I'm pretty sure there's more than enough hair to be able to cut the ends. Now, I'm going to use my blow dryer, as you guys see right here, and I'm just going to allow that to dry on cool the baby hairs and actually the wig itself where I apply any styling products. This will help the wig holds but you can also use a hair tie or like a scarf to press it down and just wear it for like 10 minutes that'll also allow it to dry in place I just don't like to use the scarf method because it kind of like flattens the hair down so I just prefer to use the blow dryer because for one it gets the job done a lot quicker you don't have any hairspray or anything like that stuck to your scalp or your face and you know I just prefer the blow dryer 
I do switch from cool to warm temperature. That's just because I like to do it like that. It makes life much easier. And like I said, I'll put on a scarf at night and then I will put the hair in a ponytail. And the next day I'll wake up and my wig is good to go. As you guys see, I'm just tugging on it and it's down, hunty. This does not even leave a mess like glue or gel would leave on your skin. So that's the one thing I also like about just doing this method. Plus it's just a lot easier. Cleanup is a lot easier and just applying is a lot easier. Now as you guys see, I'm just going to brush through the hair. It is a little dry like I did say, but I'm going to use a product in the video that you'll be able to see the difference in it. It is long. I didn't want to curl it. I just wanted to wear it straight. And in this portion right here, I'm just taking the nozzle of the blow dryer and I'm just pressing it into the hairline. So that way it also allows it to dry a lot quicker, but also it allows it to dry flatter to my scalp. Now it's time to make me a part, and as you guys see, I did pre-bleach um, it or bleach it, so that did allow the knots to look a little bit more natural. I think the wig looks amazing. The color came out nice after the toner. You can see a little bit of different highlights in it, which is great. Now the one thing that I did notice on their website as an option, you could either order one inch of dark roots or you could order two inches. Now this one has to be a two inch. It probably looks a little bit more than two inches. I would have preferred it to be one, but you know, I'll take what I can get. I do like it regardless. And I'm just going to hot comb it down. The item that you did see me just rub into my hair was my wax stick, and that does help with any type of flyaways. And I'm also going to use my hot comb on the rest of the hair, so that way it just allows it to just go straight. I could have curled it, but I really wasn't into that. So yeah, you know. Now, as I showed you guys right here, the wig did fit a little bit smaller than most, but you know, I worked around that, and these are the ends of the wig. A little dry, but you know, this product right here that I'm using, which is called Cool Wave, is just a hair moisturizer. It's lightweight, and it also will help the frizziness and also the dryness if you don't want to cut it. So I'm just going to distribute that evenly. For the most part, the hair is really nice. I do like the color of it. The products are affordable. Like I said, there is a coupon code for you guys below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon.